So let me uh, share my screen and uh, let's start our journey into beautiful Redu Redu Redux or maybe Re RIB. Um, yeah, just tell me when you will see my screen and let's try to do that. Yeah, so hope you have this, you see my screen. So first of all, uh, my small talk will be about Redux and Rebar approaches and mostly about the state management into the application. And let me introduce myself. Yeah, I'm Artem Gularalnik and I'm an iOS tech lead for the project named Serial One. Um, my experience is uh, my overall experience is nearly 10 years in the IT industry and purely IUS experience is, is more than six years uh, and uh, sorry for that uh, my past roles was always like a leading was a mobile team lead engineering manager ios tech lead so i have a bunch of different experience which i can share with you and i hope it will be pretty interesting for you so for, for first of all let me intro, intro, introduce to you uh, our agenda uh during this small conversation uh, and small talk i hope we will have some conversation between each other and we will ask questions during our uh, my, my speech. Uh, I want to uh, be on the same page with you. What is an architecture definition? What is a process of development? Then I want to jump to the definition of state. What is state? State and a little bit talk about their architectures and architectural patterns, which works uh, on the state management. It means that we will speak directly about RIB uh and redux approaches um we will uh, understand the difference between them and maybe some pros and cons and the small code demo uh, which we have and we will analyze a little bit the code and yeah and then we can talk it in addition some some amount of time to understand maybe that is interesting or ask some questions and discuss something so first of all just to syn synchronize between our understanding, what is a code? The code is number of entities that can store and transform the data. I hope no objectives on that. Uh, what is a design? A design is a number of relations, relationships between entities. And the architectures, it's like a small number of rules which define the design. Uh, let's understand what is a cool, good architecture. It is simple. It means that it's easy to start, easy to understand, easy to implement. It's a constant. It means that every single solution for this, from this architecture will not be changed. And you can implement every feature, every piece of the UI or every single app, a part of the application can be implemented using this architecture approach. It means that application need to be, need to use a key standard. It means Keep simple, stupid. And the most important for architectures need to be predictable. It means that we can understand how the, the application will behave on this architecture. We can easily to debug it. We can we need to easily to understand how the, the, the code base will grow, how it can, what problems will, will we have. So predictable, predictability. And it means that the base process needed to be supported from architecture. First, it's the most important from development side, I think, and knowledge sharing. It means that newcomers, other guys need to understand, I develop this feature, my friend develop other feature, and looking on the architecture, I can understand the base approach, how it was implemented, how it's working. So because the architecture defined how the all, st all, all, all stuff needs to, needs to go on, we can understand how the other part of the application working. And also we need to support newcomers. Now somebody came from other company added to the, our project. We need to onboard this guy easily and the good architecture works like a good documentation. So he can go through the code base, ask some questions and then start working very quickly with contributing to our uh, application or the product, uh, whatever you working with. The next, which is not, not less important, it is iteration. You know that 
we work in like day, day by day, Scrum, Kanban, even somebody works with waterfall. Every time our code base changing because we need to refactor, add new feature, uh, add, add a top feature on feature. So it means that code will be messed up and we need to support this additional changes on the code. So the code need to be easily support these changes and iterations. So iteratively improve the application. Yeah, maybe do you have some objectives on the processes or a, a, what is a good architecture? We can debate on this. If no, let's move forward. Maybe guys, do you have any some any any thoughts on that? Um, I yeah, thank thank you for the start. I just wanted to mention maybe others also uh, had this point that. In practice, architecture is usually constant, but it's not strict, right? So architecture may change, evolve, but it should not like change completely, right? So you, you shouldn't kind of migrate from Redux to RAB or from... Yes, yes. Architecture. Well, if, because well, if the architecture is defined, unless uh, you cannot evolve any further, then you have to like redesign your yes. architecture and redesign all of the pieces and like yeah, you're right. One the, architecture, the architecture itself needs to be flexible to serve your needs from the architecture, but you can start working with uh, Redux and then transit to the RAB. It means that it's not a constant architecture. It means that it is a full mess up. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And uh, this is something is, is, which is very important. Keep the current architecture. So let's move forward. So working on the application, working on the implementation, we need to understand what the state because um, we're working on a huge application using MVVM, MVC, and we understand that the application start and the code base start growing even with a good architecture that as, as, MVC, as MVVM is, architecture will, will start growing and we need to understand, we have a different state for application. What is a state? It's a one-time state of the app. It means that push notification came, we show the alert or something else. The state which, which you can see on the phone, the current set of data which is on the on the application in the code. It means the state, the small piece of current situation on the app. Is it understandable or maybe let's discuss what is about the state? Okay, this is good. Uh, what is the state management? Is It is a process. It is not like a magic pill. It is a process where you can manage these states. It means that you can understand what the state you have, how the app shall behave on that state and many, many other things. So it is a process what, where, where you can implement it and the architectures, which I will pro propose you or demo you, uh, are working on the base on of, of the state management. They use the different approaches. So this is a very important and needs to, we need to always to keep in mind that the application has a million states and the state will always, always change. There is no, other know the same state every millisecond, every second according when you want to react, when your app need to react on the, on the state. If your application is based on the sport betting, you will update as quick as possible to support the customer needs. So every, every millisecond, you will have a different state with different values. So, uh, and this means that having states and having state management, you can much more easier understand what needs to be tested. It means that the benefit of the state management is a much more easier understanding of unit testing, uh, integration testing, and even the UI testing. It gives us much more possibilities to do it. Also, the define of the state is much more easier to apply the acceptance criteria what's need to be in your state to do something on the screen so it means that more predictability how the app should behave on different states more more understanding how it can be tested and it gives us more light on 
how to keep the backward compatibility for from new features and to make easier testing and quality for the app make the best better quality than we have yeah this this is the benefits of the states it's just what we can achieve from this and there is a different approaches how to work with this even mvvm can work with states and we can up we can adapt the mvvm work with states but let, let's try not to touch back the MVVM because there are a thousand thousand, I believe, speakers who talk, who talk, uh, who, talk uh, who spoke about MVVM. Let us go a little bit farther to Uber guys and the Redux approach and the RAB approach and Redux approach. There are many different guys. So, uh, 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 yeah, we have two different approach for, uh, for the state. As example, let me share another screen. Let me share my another screen. Uh, just one second. I will open my another screen. Let's maybe start from RAB approach from uh, guys from Uber. The press story of the RAB approach was that they worked with MVC approach and the view controller becomes so massive that they cannot control it. So it means that support of the Uber application become very hard. So they understand that they will decompose their app on the different states as example, and the name the state RIP. So it means we have a router, interactor, presenter, and builder, but basically it is router, interactor, and builder, RIB. The architecture contained of the router, interactor, presenter, builder, components, and view, and router, interactor, it's mostly um, uh, router is working how to show the RIP, and the interactor is a business logic, presenter is a transition between models and views, it's a very understandable, and builder and component, if you work with Viper, as it here you can see, it will be very similar to this, because array be based on Viper a little bit. Uh, this this will, will be, we will discuss further, but let me exam explain you what is the state according to the array B approach. Every state, it is a different re array RIP. So we can create a different RIP for every important state, and define the states. Like example, we have we need to create a root state. I mean root rip for application, and this rip will be will manage the main the, main, the all other rips. So it will be a tree of rips. Like example, we have logged out rip, then we have onboarding rip, and the screen for logging out and the screen of onboarding will be showing from the RIP and then you can manage these different states and understand how it's working using the integration testing you, which you can write. Uh, the uh, other example is uh, when you log it in, you have different possible state. It's a request menu or on RIP according to different, if you have different application. As example, with um, serial one has application. When you, when you log it in, you have possible to onboarding screen possible home screen where you have a map and virtual garage, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And when we logged in and the user have had the bike and he passed previously on boarding, we just will show the home screen. So basically my rip will look like root logged in and then home screen. This is very simple. The Uber, as I told previously, provides their architecture as a framework. This framework based in uh, Uber GitHub, and you can easily download it using Cocoa Pods, like or downloading use uh, it's like Cocoa Pods or Cartage, as you can see here. And this 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 uh, uh, Git yeah. is very open to iOS and Android because this architecture was created to 
uh, and the, because this architecture enabling uh, possibility to review the business logic between iOS and Android, because this architecture is very shared on mobile. It means that when you're creating the, the uh, interactor, this pull request or this logic can be reviewed by your teammate from Android, which is using Kotlin, and you will write the RIB using Swift because it's mostly support Swift and Kotlin and for uh, Android. Kotlin and Swift for Objective-C. Also, this architecture is very cross-platform one. So everybody oh, who is working with the mobile can use this architecture. So first, it's help us to share the business logic and keep us on track between iOS and Android, the main, main business logic. Also, it is very beautifully worked with Kotlin multi-platform and some kind of business logic can be shared between different, uh, like if you're working with Kotlin multi-platform, you can um, generate a dot framework file, which you can integrate easily in your app. And this logic will be shared between different platforms. So it means that it will work simil uh, the similar for iOS and Android. Moving forward, uh, I want to share with you how the RAB code looks like. I have some small piece of code to show to show with you to share with you. It's it is very simple. It is um, like I told previously, as simple stupid. As we have now, we have a pod file which is created. Uh, we implement. Uh, array B here and small uh, pod and courage. And first of all, we need to define uh, what is an app component. This app component uh, is a base start of implementation for uh, array B. It means that it is uh, the imp implementation of a root, er uh, root rip. And we can see that we have a root builder for dependence. How the, the RIP is look like? We have a root router, root view controller, root builder, and root interactor. So it means that every RIP contains router, builder, interactor, and basically view controller. How the root, root router looks like? It's just implementation of RIB, uh, RIB logic, and promotes implementation RIB, RIB framework, and RAB framework define everything which you can use in your code. So it means that we can use every base class provided by Uber. So it means that it is very simple to apply the RAB architecture. Uh, will not take uh, much code from you. You easily can um, use the base implementation from Uber and just use this code, just extend it and continue work. So we have the base uh, protocols, which is interactable, defined by RAB. Sorry for that, I will move. Interactable, defined by RAB, login listener as well. This, this is uh, RAB approach uh, from uh, login where you can define our RIP, so it means that we need to up, up, uh, implement our main RIPs and home lister as a, as a base implementation because here we have a home screen, here we have a login in this application. Uh, this is which is which is which is which is very imp important as well. Uh, a small question, guys. Do you see my screen? Uh, do, is it readable? Maybe I shall make the screen bigger. It looks good. Yeah, it's readable. Good to hear. So first of all, uh, how I have, do... I have a small question. Yes, please. Where where this project comes from? RIBS tutorial. Uh, I use the base tutorial from guys from Uber. There's my their native tutorials which everybody can download. The the problem is that I did some additional work on it because I okay. use their tutorial and created my own on okay. base of their tutorial. Okay. So something from my hand, something copy paste. I see. Yeah. Uh, so 
uh, the RAB tutorial is something I created <laughs> and based on the old uh, Uber tutorial. So it means that it will not work ideally. Uh, yeah, we have here uh, basically interactor, login listener, and home list listener. It means that uh, we need to create every every rib have their own protocol which need to be defined in the uh, home router. It means that if you have login, we need to create login interactable. We need to create home interactable and uh, create account interactable. And you can see that interactable home listener and login listener, which was created basically previously. Uh, this all defined by uh, RAB protocol. And RAB used very easily Eric Swift, and it is based on Eric's. So it means that the biggest minus of, uh, of uh, RAB is the dependency, which will work, work on the whole application. And means that it will take some time to build. And uh, every, every, every piece of change will cause of some refactoring or changes that it means that the app, uh, the code base can be broken. This is the most critical things for me. But uh, this is just an example. And um, RAB is an open coded, open source uh, repository where co everybody can contribute or can take the code as base and make some refactoring. My suggestion and my thoughts is to re-implement Rx and change it to, to the combine, which is which current, which is a tested framework for app from Apple and it works much better. This is a base uh, root router. What is a root builder? A root builder is uh, think which, and basically this is what is a builder. This is a thing which will provide you a dependency injection. So uh, RAB is a framework which help you to keep the control of dependency injection. As an example, we have only one dependency with, which will work uh, sharing on the whole app. It is a web service. So we have a web servicing which provided and yeah, we, I have uh, coded uh, hard coded values for password and and uh, password and username. So I will every time use uh, no no password and I will send the success here. And then I will if I will enter other thing, I will show the generic error here just just in case it is very simple. So just just few screens to show. Uh, we creating a, we, we we creating the function every time the we have a function to provide the build. There is a function is named build. How it works? When uh, we want to in, in initiate initialize our app on the app did finish with option, we creating a root root a root, root, root rib. So it means that we are creating a base app component, which is every time will looks like this with all base. Uh, dependencies so this is the parent of your dependencies where you will use them where you will use them and our root uh, build root builder uh, will be uh, in initialized with the base app component where you we will keep the dependencies so all 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 initializers will, will be used like depend with dependencies and the rab approach helped us to work with dependencies, so it's it is very easy to be able to work with dependency injection here, and the function will be called build, and every every single uh, uh, single rib will have will have the function build. What it will use? We will we will initialize the base view controller and the component. What is a what is a component? The component, we can treat every rib like a feature or we can treat every rib like a, something very um, very specific for uh, the purposes it needs to, to work. So it means that it's a root component, it's a root view controller with the dependencies, nothing more. It's a very simple. If we will speak about uh, login, we can open a login builder and we have Login component with the dependencies, login view controller, interactor, and the comp and the, we will return the router. 
which connect together all these things. So the component looks like for a uh, login looks like this. It's a very simple and it just a component which um, was a parent class. So here uh, we don't need any to initialize because this is there is nothing to initialize. As well, the same for uh, create account, as well as the same for uh, home. But here you can initialize the specific components for each each situation which you will use here. So let me go further. We build the R or the RIP, and then we use an interactor. Interactor is a, how how inter, interactor going here. It means that the interactor the thing which show give you possibility to interact that with the current screen is an or which you can see the interact it enable the user interactor. So it means that every action will show you the next trip. It means that. If we did a did the app did become active because this interactor calls here on did become active, we show the router, the router is root 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 uh, root root routing, uh, and attach the login. Attach the login. It's something we define. This is a protocol, and the realization of the router is here. We just creating, attaching the child, and the child is our home router. Home router, uh, this is a way, as I saw, told you previously, we keep the roads which are the child of the root routers. As I told, as I showed you previously, remember the tree is a root router, the child root, the child uh, root, root tree, and the child trees, uh, ribs, I mean. Uh, it means that every rib will have a child. So every single child. Can be testable, can be testable, and this is like a piece of state. This is how RID work with states. It means that every child is a small state. It, it is just much bigger than in Redux, but this we will see in a little bit, a little bit later. So uh, let's go further. Attach, attach login. We're attaching the login. We add in the child. We add in the router. We create in the login router, and then we build in the router with a listener who will listen what what's going on and the interactor is here it's just an interactor which can be created and login login builder just building with interactor so it means that like with this function will uh, eat the listener who will listen uh, what's happened here so as I told, as I showed previously, every single rib has a builder with function build. Um, let me go a little bit faster and show you the small result which we have here. Uh, I hope you see my screen. This is a very simple application here where I can type, type something with no password, and then we log it in and show a button. And the button is just log it out. But if I will type uh, the password as well, I will have a very, very generic uh, alert. And here we have a button, uh, create account as well. This is, and close account. And every this, this of this function is, every of this uh, views that you saw, it's a separate rib. So it's a home screen, then uh, if not, then uh, logout screen, then create account screen. This is very simple how the RIP approach will will uh, is looks like. Maybe you have questions. I know you you have questions. It's like I think my explanation is pretty complicated for RIB approach. So guys, feel free to ask. Okay. Um, I have I have a question about like what do you think about this architecture overall? Because what I found from Uber's uh, talk, like I was there like, a couple of years yeah. ago at Amsterdam about the talk, they told that they had to create a plugin for Android Studio in order to generate RIPs. 
because it was too big for them and yes. uh, it's too uh, boilerplate. It, to be honest, I played a little bit with the code. So I played with this tutorial, which I shared to you, and I create a very, very simple and simple, stupid application. You saw that this application is too stupid. And to be honest, for such simple, stupid application, it's too complicated. It's just something over complicated for the very simple application. So if you will speak about a very legacy application, which will, which will be big and which will contain a big amount of view controllers, will be have different ways to behave. It's, it seems to be a very good solution. The, pro, uh, the problem is for me that it contains Eric Swift and the Uber uh, framework is a dependency for the whole, whole application. You're, and uh, from my past, I remember that the dependency for the, for the whole application, the God classes is very bad. So in my humble opinion, we need to define something by our own. So the base protocols, which will not create you dependency for the whole application. But the plus, pluses is we every time understand how the behavior should be built. It's very easy you open each rib and you can understand how it's built off, built off. So it's understandable. It's like predictable. Yeah, it will be flexible to provide some different solution, but the pluses, pluses which I see, dependency management, you understand what, what uh, each rib need to use and you can define this. Uh, the data flow, it's understandable as well. And testability which is very important as well. It is very simple to define the unit tests here. Uh, basically, it's uh, if you ask me if I want to, if I, if I will use this applica application or uh, architecture or uh, why didn't I use this, uh, this architecture on my own on in my uh, current uh, or previous project in SoftSurf, I will answer because first of all, uh, we had the three months and I do not believe that with this approach, it will be very, sim very simple to educate the developers to start to, to, to deliver very fast the features. It will it would take some, some, amount, some amount of time. Uh, the second thing it is that uh, there is some, some lack, lack of time sometimes and uh, you need to have a very fast testable result and, uh, and with less complexity on debug. Uh, to debug RIM approach is not so easy. To big amount of dependencies and this, and uh, even you will, when you put the uh, Eric Swift everywhere, it's over complicates the debugging of the code itself, which is not so brilliant. So I mean that, if you want to overcomplicate the debugging and understanding where is a problem, just use Eric Swift. But to working with uh, uh, simultaneous updates, to work with some changes and to make your life easier, Eric will help. But in my opinion, better use protocols or closures and it's much more easy to uh, debug. Uh, but, and if you want some, to use something similar to Eric's, and more stable use combine. So the Uber proposal is very good, but not everywhere. And it's some very, very rare, rare cases. This is my opinion on RAB. Okay, guys, um, maybe you have some questions about RAB approach. And if no, let's move to Redux. Okay. This is good. First of all, what I want to say about Redux. With Redux, I worked uh, maybe half a year on the big project, and uh, the the our our we created our we created our own Redux. But this uh, but the problem which I faced is that on the application which have million updates per second, it will not work. Because uh, if you were, if you want to create something very stable uh, from the scratch, it, it will not it, it is not a solution. So there is a, a contribute uh, there is a, a 
GitHub with RESWIFT uh, Redux solution, which is very similar, similar to RAB solution. This is this architecture can can be implemented. This this uh, this architecture has sixty three contributors, and this is very easy to go solution from the box which can be used because to create a Redux own approach from the scratch is not so easy. What is a Redux? Uh, let's imagine that the, the what is the state in Redux? The state is something which is happening with the whole application itself in uh, overall in the Redux. And uh, with what what has happened with with an application? It's action. Action is a very 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 big thing which happened with all application and every piece of thing it is a the, the overall a huge state this is the whole state for the app and every single view has their own state it means that we have the global state and the small state which we take from the global state and state it means that we have a giant request or a date which came to the app and every single feature let's decompose the app for feature all the screens like a, let's let's imagine a list of movies we have a update for on on a, on a screen of of movies we need just a minimal data which is required for that screen so we have the global state and the small states for the each screen you need to show the action came on the all application, which provide you a giant amount of data with the states, and we use the reducers to gain the, the data for that state. How it looks like in the code? Very simple. Very simple. Let me share with you. Okay, let me share the whole screen. Just a second. A small technical pause. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's not that that app that uh, we developed from the scratch because that application is under uh, so, so, some le so, some uh, liability, so I can't share. But I found a very good example. Uh, we have a REST Swift application which defined what is the action. As it says equity protocol what is assertion what is coding how we can code this dispatching the store and middleware reducers that means that when we can get the action uh, and for the state there is a different states what is the state what is the store the store is the place where you store all the data for the needed screen Sort of subscribers who is subscriber for the store to get the data and different store types which contain the, the application state dispatch function and subscriber for getting the state and the uh, different type of subscription and type helpers which is not important currently but let me show the first we have basically an api call which is not important but first of all we have let's go from down to the up we have different we have three view controllers and this is a split view control movie list view controller and movie details view controller which is very simple uh, and can be can be showed and the view controls use only the ui there is no business logic on view control nothing view controller has extension and it's subscribed to the store it means that when the store for the view controller updated to be taking updates and we sending this update so it's a store subscriber is from RESWIFT a protocol which tell us that we have a new state a new state looks like this when we extend on the view controller we create a subscription state type movies detailed view state and we get, get a new state and what is the movies details new state looks like it is an equitable structure with 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 uh, properties movie title date genders and and that's it it is in initialized with the state so it means that every time the state will be the brand new it is very simple what is the state we have a main state which contain 
every single piece of information. It means that it contained from actions, movie detail state, and what's happened here, what's happened there, main state. And we have a main reducer which came, uh, which main state uh, subscribe. So it means that every time something happened, we uh, the, the main reducer called with different actions state and uh, action and state and we have subscription if action is add genres we use this fetch new movies and all 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 states are defined how we use an action we just checking the action on the subscriber it means that if action is main example main state action we will do next how the action looks like this is a enumeration with the cases how it's happened nothing more nothing more the same is here this is only one state add new film fetch next movies show movie details will hide movie for detail uh, uh, ready search search cancel search etc so how the search search show movies with details looks like we come back to the uh, actions smoke looking on the detail on the uh, main reducer and see that search movies with the dead details we have fetch movies yes and we'll hide movies with the details like example and let copy because sometimes i can miss too much code and we have show movies with the detail so it means that we have a movie to show and we have a state this is the current state we have it's the main state for the app and this state contains the movie detail we have movie detail the base state is hide but if you will open the movie detail state it have several states will hide hide show and what movie we will show this is the very basic implementation of what we have it means that we have a basic move uh, as well it means that the state need to serve basic uh, models it means that taking something from the store it is a pages movies movies uh, and, and, and genres. This is a very basic thing. And all this is running allowed the tank. Tank is like a, our base store. So they name it a rest with tank. So it means that this thing will fetch and will uh, be used when something happened. Uh, this this like example, we have a list of movies. We have a subscription for table view. And when we scroll the table view, we'll call like very easy fetch movies from, from page on, on, on using sync main store, dispatch with dollar zero. And this means that here we will spot, start, we will dispatch the function and to be honest, it will call this function fetch upcoming movies page. Now here we use a very here was created a very easier publisher to, to use, so it's very very simple for this app, and how it works as well very simple. Uh, let me share this. This is just a movies list. It means that this state we have we subscribe and they we upload the, the movies we can open the movie we can go back and we can search for something this is something very easy it means that this application decomposed for different layers a tank uh, states and actions and redux is about the actions and states of the app it means that each state can be tested easily each state it's each 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 situation can be tested very very easily how it looks like i will share with you we have a 
base state what we have the the, the general state it means that we can ch check lean uh, make manage the lint with actions and the returning of what needs to be uh, uh, what's need to be what we'll need to have from state we are creating a store with a reducer with a current state and there is no middle layer because there will be no business, uh, web, 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 web values because we will use something hard coded values. And we have test initial state. What will be? We create in a main reducer and we will check if the state is presented. So if the state is the same on empty action. So it's just a clear state. Then test at generous, we will just we'll add some genres and understand what is here because this application support at genres and just every small piece of state can be tested then test next movies page what will be do what we will do here we will create a fetch new movies pages we will and we can understand that new movies page has total pages 12 and the movies we will create movie one movie two and then Action two will be provided fetch move as well. 13 pages together was downloaded with movies ID. And then we will create a reducer. And what will be going? We will need to check that the current page and total pages will be changed. So we, we just check if the logic works 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 through it. And the current state we can understand easily what's need to be done on the each state. We have main movie pages for server state two, and all all previous states need to be saved. So we have all understandable items which need to be in the current moment, in the current second. So it's very easy to to test the current state of the app. Also, the same can be tested for uh, view states. What will be on view? Very easy few tests test in search state console is the search state console we have the one main state it can be a different state for each view but no sense here the current state is canceled and the view state we create in the view mod view uh, model list view state we just create in the view and we checking that the current view state which was defined previously and i showed you this previous state uh Checking this view state search text bar needs to be empty. View state search bar shows console needs to be false. And the first responder search bar first responder needs to be false as well. Uh, search ready is the same and search state is searching as well. So it's just uh, no corner cases test. It's just di it's uh, direct tests. The same is a movie view, a movie details view screen. We know what's need to be on the screen. So we can check that movie contain all needed fields and we can change just different fields and understand if they're on the place. So what is a Redux? Redux is a big, big architectural framework which define how we can be behave with an application and how we can understand what's happening with your application on the current second on the current state the main plus my plus of the redux it's easy to understand what's not need to be tested uh, the main minus of the redux and the same as rix is a complexity and if you will use the like open source solution from contributor to implementing your own code it will be the big third party dependency for the app but as well the next minus is to create your own redux for ios or android from the scratch is not so easy so you will spend a lot of time for that to use somebody's solution on top uh, can be not so good idea because all this solution based on combine or rick swift and still the good solution will use uh, closures but if you will work on the high load application the uh, probably you will be faced with a problem with of uh, big amount of big, big problem with overloading of the app and multi-threading so you will all, always 
have such problems with performance of the app. Now, this, the, the, uh, this, this problem I faced it, uh, one and a half years ago in my previous comp more than one and a half years ago to be basically with my previous company because the UI need to be baked in different way and uh, to overcomplicate uh, from our hands to provide the Redux solution uh, with, with no usage of Rx Swift because as well using uh, Redux, it will even more overcomplicate the debugging of the application with Rx Swift. Uh, but if you will speak about the application with the less updates, uh, with understanding what states will be, it mean like your application will have maybe just user interaction updates uh, and one time in 30 minutes, the update from backend. This, this approach will be a very good fit because it's easy to, to create tests. It's easy to share the knowledge because every, every application contains from state and actions. Or well, not application, every feature and every screen contains from state and actions. And you just understand how you can build your uh, your screen. So guys, let's have a small discussion on what we have here, because the benefits of the Redux and RAB, which I want to share with you, which is for me very important. It's testability easy to go for knowledge sharing. It's flexible architectures. And it is easy to think between the platforms and it is a room for using the shared code. It means that uh, what I told you previously about Kotlin multi-platform, the business logic, the states, the, the states, the actions can be coded in Kotlin multi-platform and shared between the platforms which is very good. Uh, I, I'm not a fan of Kotlin multi-platform, but it's worked good. And for iOS, it's creating a dot .framework file, which can work and it can be debugged on for Android and then shared with iOS. What minuses do we have? This both architectures is easy to over complicate and not every project needs this approach because as well, there are MVVM, uh, MVP, other architectures which can fit sometimes better than these two. Uh, there, there, it will take time to obtain from other other developers if they did not work with such architectures, because the mindset need to be different. And the problem is about the shared states is something not ideal. I mean the global states on the app for Redux and the root. Uh, root trip from RIB as well. It's something which is keeping the whole dependency on the app. It is not ideal solution because sometimes uh, it is too much data and to debug it, it will be not so easy. So guys, what is your opinion? Let's create some conversation and, and debate. Guys, I know I'm not the best uh, guy who, who who can tell something or else. Uh, but yeah, if you have questions, I will be happy to answer. Presentation uh, was cool, and thank you. Great. Uh, yeah, I promise my, my next presentation will be much better. Um, I have a, like a practical qu uh, question. So um, as soon as I'm like architecting different mobile apps, um, usually there is a big, like a big spread of what you can choose from and people decide to choose like go with MVVM and everything will work, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, of course, every app has its pros and cons. So Redux is more event-based, RAB is more state-centric. Yes. Uh, but overall, they solve the same problem. So from a practical perspective, I have a question. If you will have to create 
your pet app that is pretty complex enough. So it's not like whatever to-do list or whatever. So it's kind of decide what you choose, some retail app that you plan to implement as your own app, which architecture you will choose. Um, according to how two. much updates per second we will have. Yeah. Well, let's say this is a simple retail app that you need to build in order to Redux. sell some goods. Redux. Right? Redux. Okay. Uh, why Redux? Uh, because uh, it supports a uh, it's a very flexible architecture which can be scaled on the big amount of on 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 the bigger size. Bigger size. That's the first. The second is it is easy to uh, cover with unit tests or an integration tests, and uh, it's easy to work with some dependencies as well, but it's much more easy to go so you can understand what's need to be here on the screen if your if our app will go with a big amount of updates i will use uh, rab because uh, a very good dependency management a very good uh, work uh, possibility to work with multi-trading but the problem is i will use rab without a rig swift so this is a very key problem for uh, RAB. And okay. why I will choose a Redux because I worked with Redux and I understand more what I shall expect from this architecture, to be honest. Okay. Thank you. Uh, did you try the deep links uh, with uh, both uh, these architectures and uh, how it's hard to open a specific screen? Basically, it will be the same. The deep link uh, triggers some action in your app, and this action uh, can be called from every single screen, and you can implement this action. And then, if you have this new action, you just will show it on the uh, redu reducer in object in, in in Redux, and then show the screen. So it's not 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 hard. It's very easy. Uh, the same as a rip. We have. Every time uh, this is this this screen can be the rib and the special event, so it's, it can be this, this special rib which which can be called from every every point. It can be called from the rule trip and then uh, pushed to the to, to the top, or the, every 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 corner rib can have this uh, event which which can came and then push the new rib. It's just naming of the subscription can which can be called yeah what this means because it's always a headache yeah it's very easy it's like for redux it is a global action which which can came and if this action contains a deep linking you just will use this action this action can be not implemented of each screen or each state or etc it can be a separate state which can be pushed by the, the reducer on the top, and then you can show the screen. Uh, RAB, the same, just push and then go on. It, it will, and it will be a child for the current RIP, which is on top. Then you go back and the architecture will continue the same. Just keep the, for Redux, you need to keep the uh, RIP tree. For, uh, for, for RAB, you need to keep the RIP tree. For Redux, you need to be the, line of the screens you continue you, you use on top and that's it just just keep this action that something on your screen uh, the state that something on your screen that just global state will be changed as example um, for redux it is easy very easy to show for even now uh, we have the main state here and here if you were speaking about the main state uh, we can can just define case show deep link and this and something which you want to show here and then on reducer we can make case show deep link and then uh, show what you want what you need that that will be it for Redux for it the same uh, I, if I did not close yeah. Uh, one second, uh, it will reopen and I will share it to you. 
we have the root router and root builder. So basically here you can define uh, additional rip uh, here. And basically very easy on each rip create like child rip. Every rip will have a child rip. And then if something happened, you just will push and add to the, your current rip, the child rip and that's it. Just to understand what rip is on your, uh, what rip is on top on your screen. Any additional questions, guys? Let, let's let, let's maybe talk. I'm very, very interested in your opinion about this architecture. Uh, Vladislav, what do you think about the RIP and Redux? What what will you choose? Uh, I tried Redux uh, for Flutter, and there were some problems because uh, when you try to change something on the screen, it rebuilds uh, the whole screen. And uh, the main problem for me was dialogues. Yeah, I faced with this with this issue the same, and uh, the solution from us was that what I was that what I was mentioned from before that the mindset needs to be different and you need to build the UI in the special way. It means that you need to decom decom decompose the UI refresh. So it means that you need to reload different elements if it's needed for the UI. It means that why it is not so you good for solution for the application with a big amount of updates. It means that every time you will update the state, you will update the UI. So it's a bad solution. And you need to find the way how to make batch updates for the screen. Yeah, but I suppose it's problem of Flutter. Mm, maybe for iOS, it was the same problem, to be honest. So basically it's just a very shared problem, I think. Uh, as for me, because I already uh, tried Flutter or uh, Redux, uh, I uh, should prefer uh, Redux, but uh, I think uh, for the big uh, project, uh, it can become a mess. Mm, hard to say, hard to say, because I saw how the Redux will look like on the big project and it was very useful. Because uh, the problem is that you need to how, somehow to um, create or organize the structure of your pro 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 project. It means that you, the project needs to be structured well. Uh, it, it, there is a different approaches. You can structure feature by feature and uh, understand that this feature is like have own state. But then this feature needs to work with the screen. So there are different kind of organization feature on the screen and and then if you will organize screen by screen, then the feature will be in, implemented to the screen. You will see the structure of features and screens. And the main state for the big project uh, looks yes. good. Uh, it can become that, quite that, big, I guess. That time it was not so bad, to be honest. We had a very nice architecture. Maybe you heard Alexei Dimitrievsky. And at uh, that time, uh, he developed a very interesting thing. I cannot, I cannot share, but um, it is on his GitHub. And it was pretty good solution to solve our problem with shared state. But yeah, it will require additional development as well. But all of these problems, which we speak about, is all about how we decompose our API calls and our events. Because basically, if you have a 100 API calls, and uh, it is not a big problem to have a shared state. This shared state can be like, look, looks like not like a big state where you define everything or all actions. It can be a, like a definition of the child states which will make our life more easier here because every child state will, will be responsive for different feature or different screen, etc. Anyway, for at my experience, uh, such architectures are very good uh, for small or medium sized projects. But for big, uh, I think uh, MVP, MVVM or any classic architecture will be better. Uh, very hard to say because, to be honest, it's all based on how you will organize the work and how you are 
easy to go. So it means that if you have more experience in, with MVVM or MVP than uh, than in Redux, etc., it's it will be always much more easy to you to use this, the new architecture for small and medium medium size applications. But uh, if you have a giant experience in MVVM, you will use MVVM every everywhere because it's just really easy to understand how the things is going on. But have it, have no experience when the, when with the such architectures, you always will not choose them. To be honest, to be honest, it's like a very common thing because when a bigger when a big architecture will implement the Redux or RAB, and it will become uh, bigger, the application will grow. Uh, you have no experience what to do with this, and then you will need to, to when you will then you will start to implement your solutions or to find the, the way how to solve this or to serve this uh, growing. And, so, and if you will choose a good solution or your solution will work, works, you will be very happy with Redux or RAB. But if your solution will not work, yeah, you will never use the next uh, Redux or RAB because that, that is the complexity of these architectures. It's all about the case when you choose the good, what to do with the state or not. The best, the, 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 the worst scenario when you choose, okay, I need to improve the Redux or AB and then you break the way how the, the, the architecture is works. The good way to serve the big project is to decomposing all the UI to, to make batch updates, decomposing the states and create just more decompos decomposable state management. And then you will see that with a smaller chunks, the application will become much more easier to go. It's just my humble opinion. And that's okay. what you did. The here. customer wants uh, such features that will uh, destroy everything. <laughs> oh, it's every time something like this, but... Um, Every time can be happen. It's, it's, every time shit can happen, to be honest. But it's our it's it's our um, destiny to show because we are a developer to show the customer how to implement features and not to de destroy our architecture and keep the codes clean, clean and simple. Yeah. Sometimes we can fail, to be honest. Sometimes the customer can ask something which make us too angry and then we start to code like a monkeys. It's true. But our main goal and for developer keep code clean, keep code simple, keep code understandable to, to give our neighbors understanding what you did and then go farther. So that's it. Maybe something else, guys. Uh, yeah, seems to me um, I will. Uh, it's something. Uh, it's it's something from my side that that that's it. I will be very happy. Uh, to have a further contact with you. I will be very happy about your feedbacks about my talk. Uh, and yeah, it will help me to improve my skills. And uh, I will be very interested to hear from you if you will be interested to make live coding together to create an app using the, the RIB approach and Redux approach. Mm, maybe we can make a small webinar where we will create a small application with this and then analyze the problems which we face it. Whatever is interesting for you. <laughs>